Busted, a quick turnaround coming up to being back at home for the first time this week on Tuesday against Curzon Ashton. Just first off, off the, the back of a, a lengthy away trip on Saturday, you know, how are the, the boys looking after they've been in this morning? Um, yeah, everyone's surprisingly uh, fresher than I thought it would be because it, it was a long day, it was an early set off and um, we didn't get back till a, a little bit late, but we've got a, um, a group who look after themselves away from here as well. So Sunday they would have done what was, what was needed to, to make sure that they were in the best possible position position to get a good session today so today's session was really sharp um, we kept everything quite short done a little debrief from Saturday's game um, but yeah everyone everyone was fresh and ready to go for tomorrow and off the back of quite a few kind of lengthy away trips in, in recent weeks it probably feels like a, a little while since you've played a game at home but is it just good to be back on on your own patch having like I say traveled you know a few hours on the coach a few times recently yeah and um, we love playing at home I don't think that's any secret uh, obviously we've got a good record here and um, but as you see we've had a couple of long trips away and um, which have been testing for the boys but they've come through every test that's been put in front of them so far and um, in the boys are, are buzzing to be to be back at home tomorrow we've got obviously two games back to back at home and um, both huge games obviously we take tomorrow, that's a, our next cup final um, and hopefully the the fans will be in, in good spirit because it's been a while since we've had an away game so it'll be nice and noisy, there'll be a good atmosphere which will help push the boys on because we, we really need it now. Um, so yeah, we can just fill the stadium up as best we possibly can, make as much noise as we can and then the boys will buzz off that and hopefully they'll give the performance that the, the fans look for as well. You touch on the supporters there, obviously you mentioned you've been away quite a few times recent weeks, but there's been a, a good following in, in quite a lot of those games. I think it was 89 at Boston on Saturday. I mean, just looking at away, obviously they made the difference at home as well, but you know, going on the road, how much of an impact does that make? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, obviously the miles that they're putting in at the minute to, to come and support the boys. Um, everyone really appreciates it. Um, it's their club at the end of the day, you know, we're just trying to do the very best that we can for their club. Um, but you know, the, they were obviously noisy again on Saturday. Um, it was brilliant having them there. It, you know, it it does really help having a lot of supporters coming to away games. It, it gives it that atmosphere. Um, and it just gives that boys that extra one, two percent that's needed sometimes to get us over the line. And Saturday was one of them games where we needed it and our, our supporters were brilliant, as they always are. Um, and we sent them home happy, which is the main thing. And looking to, to Kers and Ashton tomorrow, of course, the, the reverse fixture, probably quite a while ago now, a, a close one nil win at, at their place. And I mean, it's things stand at the minute. They've still got a, a chance of, of fighting for the playoffs. So they're going to be coming here and gunning for three points. Yeah, Curzon are a really good side. Um, we watched the last two games. We watched them against York, a really good York side, and they drew nil nil. Um, and they created chances. They were they had a lot of energy about them. They play when they can. Um, they can be direct when they want to be as well. And um, they've got really good players. Obviously, the centre forward, the sign from Altman and Piers, he's he's a good player. We've played against him already. Here, we know what he's about. Um, and they've got a youngish squad. And obviously, the, some of the boys have played in the league for a couple of years now. So. We're fully aware that they're going to be coming um, with confidence in terms of, you know, they, they had a bad result on Saturday, but having watched the game, the performance wasn't bad at all. Um, they, they dominated the ball against Farsley and obviously it was a bit of a free goal from the goalkeeper. Um, but yeah, they're a really good side who like to play good football on a nice pitch. Um, it was a tough game down there, could have went either way, we won 1-0. So yeah, we're just looking forward to, to getting them here and, and putting our stamp on the game and taking three points, hopefully. And in terms of the, the injury front and who's sort of available, tomorrow, of course, Dan Ward and, and Alex Nicholson missed out on, on Saturday with sort of minor injuries. Is it too early for them to come back or is there the potential for them to be involved? Alex, it's probably too soon for him, struggling with his Achilles. Um, he's managed it all through the season, to be fair to him, um, but it's just flared up worse than what it has previously. Um, Wardy is in contention for tomorrow. We just wanted to look after Wardy. It was more precaution. Um, He's been a massive player for us this year. We've just got him back from injury. He's been brilliant since he's came back in. Um, we didn't want to push him too far and then end up with another injury where he's missing for the rest of the season. So we just felt that managing his, his hamstrings on Saturday, leaving him at home, um, was the right thing to do. So he's in contention for the, the squad tomorrow. And on, on Mike Jacob as well, because he wasn't in the, the squad at the weekend. Is it a, a similar kind of case with him? Yeah, so Matty was poorly on Saturday. Um, he came to get on the bus. He didn't look well. Um, so we made the decision just to, to send him back home and get his rest in bed. Um, he's trained today. So see how he is tomorrow. But by going off today, he should be in contention for tomorrow as well. He was feeling a lot better. So yeah, 
Um, looking at going into it with a with a full squad, really. Forbes, he's training now. Um, he's getting sessions in. We need to get a lot of training sessions in him before he's he's ready to go for a game because he's been out a long time. Um, and we really need to keep on top of um, his rehab and, and make sure that we manage him properly. But it won't be long till he's back in sort of contention and stuff. So it's looking positive for the squad. I had a good time as well.